Chivo here back for another Football Manager 15 video today. We are here yet again with Stoke and we will be playing against Leicester. And to some surprise, Leicester are down in 20th now. I didn't realise this before coming into the live com, but would you look at that? Leicester not hitting very good form. You know, they've only picked up two wins in the whole season so far. Looking at things, their last, well, practically since the last time I saw them is when their losing streak started, so I, I do feel bad for them. But in other ways, I do feel good for, for, for me. Uh, hopefully they go down so I can steal some of their players too, because I know I like players like Mares, who's currently playing really good in real life at the moment. But, you know, we're currently sitting in 11th. It's not too bad. We're on 17 points, so we're nearly at the halfway point of the season. We are also nearly at the uh, half, half the points total that we need to secure survival. As you see, Manchester United have already secured survival. All these top teams probably will as well. But, you know, down in 11th, not the best start. We are looking to pick up on the second half of the season. In the FA Cup, we have uh, drawn Doncaster in League 1, so that shouldn't be too bad there. And of course, Sunderland in the quarterfinal of the Cap 1 Cup. But... We do need to look at some things because injuries have been happening again. So since the last time I saw you was the Newcastle game, only four games ago. So um, and not 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 a very good four games either. So we lost two 0 to Newcastle. You already know this. We then drew two all with West Brom. And the funny thing about this game is we scored our own own goal through the West Brom keeper Ben Foster and then they scored through an own goal through Shane Given. so the first two goals in the game were both own goals by the goalkeepers and you know it just tells it's a terrible start to a game Peter Crouch getting on the scoreboard 63rd minute I thought we had it but Berahino did grab one back eventually we then played against Premier League champions Chelsea and this is a result I would not like to talk about it's that simple. We got absolutely demolished. Just absolutely terrible, terrible game from everyone on the pitch. Um, nothing else I can say there. We then bounced back with a 2-1 win against Bournemouth. It was a good result. In my eyes, it was a good result. You know, Bournemouth, I've just come up. We needed a win. We needed to bounce back from the 6-0, and we did with a 2-1, so that wasn't too bad. But then... I thought we'd bring some more form into the Crystal Palace game. I thought we'd start far enough a bit and do really well. But what do you know? Lee Chung Yong scored the first goal. Bojan scored again in the, the 18th. So Bojan just slowly bringing up his tally. Then we had Lee Chung Yong score again. And Bojan got a 69th minute penalty. I thought we could have had it. The final minutes of the game were ticking and ticking and ticking. And then... Johnny Williams scores in the 88th minute and crushes my dreams of a draw. We then get a loss, so that's, you know, we're in a bit of a struggle at the moment. But say we do play against Leicester, who uh, I'm surprised they're in 20th, to be honest, but, you know, they're, they're obviously not recreating their, their form in real life. So hopefully we can get a result here today because that is definitely what we need. We need to keep kick-starting the second half of our season, but... Whether or not it happens or not is a different story. You know, squad-wise, we did have a few injuries. Adnan Yunzai is out. This is a big problem. He's out for six weeks. He's still got three to four left. And uh, he's, he's a massive miss for us. Jeff Cameron also out. Just started to pick up some decent form. He's gone. He was out for two weeks, three weeks. So that's also not good. Ibrahim Afalai is injured as well. So is Eric Peters. So, you know, we are really, really struggling. It is not good to see. So, um, what can you do? But Yossel has come back from injury. Still not happy about his playing time. But Peter Crouch has just scored in the previous game. The previous game? The game before. So, he's not going to be dropped, you know. Peter Crouch is proven a point. Yossel, yeah, if Peter Crouch doesn't do well, you can sub on this game. You can play Bojan has been played of the match for the last two games in a row. I've played him for the full 90 minutes of the last two games, and he's come up and said 
that he's not happy with the game time, which doesn't make sense. You've just played two full games, and you're complaining about your playing time. So I'm I'm very confused by that. Charlie Adam not having the best last five games form, but um, hopefully he will improve off that. Westerman not doing too good either. But as you can see, Glenn Johnson in a poor form at the moment. Robert Ruth I would play out in the right, but he's better down the middle. Mark Wilson in terrible form as well. Phil Bardsley terrible form. Andy Wilkinson terrible. All our right backs are playing terrible. Jeff Cameron though, a good right back, can't play because he's injured. So that's that's the story of the season so far. But as you can see, our lineup today will be Crouch, Arnautovic, Bojan, Diouf, Sidwell, and Adam, Muniesa, Shawcross, Walshai, and Westerman. And we'll be playing against Leicester, who uh, are starting not not. Not too bad, you know, you know, Okazaki, of course, Kramerich as well. They've got Andre Ivanschitz, who's a very good striker. You'll know him if you've seen one of my previous saves. He's a very good striker. Jesse Lingard on loan from Manchester United. I'm not sure exactly why they're playing him in the middle of the park. Doesn't make sense to me. they got Drinkwater, they got Hammond, Fuchs, Wazileski, Moore, Simpson, and obviously Kasper Schmeichel in goal. Also, Delat on the bench, which is quite surprising because he is the captain, I do believe. But Delat's on the bench. Vardy, Nugent, Schlock, Koncheski, and Mara is the man I want for my team. But there you go. That is the starting lineup for today. Let's apply the team advice, have a bit of a team talk, and push on into today's action against Leicester. And we need a result today. That is the main thing. A result is all we are looking for. I don't care if it's a 1-0 scrap. I don't care if it's a 7-0 de demolition. I need us to pick up a win. Because at the moment, if we get any more poor form, I could be I could be getting a sack. And I know that's not the best thing to say, especially considering our last series. If you haven't seen that, you should probably check out what happened there. But... You know, we really need to start pushing and pushing and pushing because at the moment we are not going to get anywhere as Okazaki has just scored a bloody rebound, his third goal of the season in the Prem so far and Leicester are one nil up. Ivan shoots on the free kick, that's a good free kick. Butland did all he could and Okazaki just couldn't do it, you know. He couldn't do it. And Leicester dominating the game, holding all the possession. It's a bit worrying. We are playing away from home. We are playing at King Power Stadium, so it's expected. But, um, you know, we, we need results. Charlie Adam, where the hell is that going, mate? Sort yourself out. Cranbridge is going to beat Walsh for pace. Cranbridge is around the keeper. Oh, I thought that was going down for a pen, but my lucky there. It's only a corner. Leicester. Ball in. Drink water. Muniesa. Here you go. Peter Crouch, the target man. His job is to hold the ball up, and he's played it straight out for a throw-in. Oh, my God, Peter Kerrach. that you, You're supposed to be a legend, mate. You've scored the most ever-headed goals in the Prem, and you can't even hold on to a ball. Jeez Louise. And we are struggling in the middle of the pitch. Ivan Schitt's Cramerich. They are just running circles around us at the moment. Peter Crouch can hold the ball up. Yet again, he can't. Peter Crouch, you are having a shocker today. Walshide. Butland, great clearance. Now, Peter Crouch, once again, three times in this highlight, has just played terribly. Cramerich, Butland, Butland with a great save, and Munias has to clear. We are in so much trouble at the moment. And I'm thinking Peter Crouch, it says he's not having a bad... Steve Sidwell's having an absolute shocker. So, Sidwell, you're coming off, mate. You know, I expect to see a much better showing. We should not be losing 1-0 for Leicester. And... What is Steve Sidwell doing? That's the question. He's not having a good game at all. Glenn Whelan's going to come on for him, I think. That'd probably be the best option there. Uh, Diouf's not having the best game either. So, Arnautovic can come off. And Marvo can come on. See if uh, something can happen. Diouf has not scored since I was talking up, talking up last episode. So, that is also not very good. Poor form is starting to cost us. And what can you do? Fuchs, Lingard, Okazaki, Lingard, back to Okazaki, surely he's going to score from this, yeah he has, that's a typical FM highlight, we are struggling, I need to do something, uh, I think we're going to change the system entirely, and this is what we're going to do, Bojan is coming on, Crouch, 
you're going to have to come off mate and I think Mark Wilson will be the man to drop back this is terrible news for us I've made all three subs after 65 minutes I don't know what is going on we're playing counter attacking football whipped crosses and uh, surely we're not playing a target man no we're not alright that's the main thing we're not playing a target man alright yep great clearance there from Westerman but this is not a result we are we're looking for 2-0 down to Leicester in the 80th minute Okazaki on the ball again he's been threatening is he going to score a hat-trick today? Probably not. If he does, it'll be his first ever Premier League hat-trick. And that could be quite an embarrassment. Ah, oh, come on. Boys, th this is not what I want to see. Uh, Westerman lays a great tackle. Pass to Anadovic. There you go. Ball, uh, ball across. No. Okazaki's on. Oh, he plays off to Vardy. Very unselfish there from Okazaki. Simpson, ball in. Vardy, fun post. 3-0. That's our game over. I think my job is in serious consideration after this result. I don't understand why. Everything has been going perfectly well up until, well not perfectly, but you know, the Newcastle result really turned our tide a bit and since then we've really, really been struggling and we just can't pick up any form. Bojan's been the, the key man and he can't do it all. That's the problem. Uh, there's no there's no one man team. You know, you might you might say there is, but there is no one man team. And uh, we're, we we need to sort something out. I think we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board, look at the tactics and figure out what I can do because a three nil loss to Leicester is not the result I'm looking for. So um, Leicester have dominated that game too, let's take them off the bottom. Luckily we're still in eleventh, but games in hand everywhere on the table. And I think I need to also have a look at the transfer window in see if I can get any good loans in or get in a new big signing because at the moment I just can't but that will be it for now the next time I join you we said it would be the uh, Arsenal game I don't think it will be that's only three games time I think we'll wait until the Sunderland result if we play against Sunderland, it'll be the first of the first start of the transfer window. Can't complain. So I will join you guys at the Sunderland results. My name has been Chibos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next Football Manager video.